Hello everybody, my name is Al, I'm from SoberLab and today will be another video about TrueNAS. In this video I will get through the snapshot and how it's important you have this snapshot and what you can do with it. I think that it's interesting to have this video because lots of people don't know how to use and how it's important the snapshot. Pretty much nowadays that the hackers start to be more and more smart and with this they start to attack you and lots of uh, ransomwares they try to receive money for you. And that's you need to decide. If you do backup frequently, you can restore this backup, but this will take some time and this time maybe you don't have or you're not allowed to get two or three hours or three days of stock production. This reason that the snapshot is a good option that you can restore with a fast speed, of course, with some limitations. At least you can have this possibility to help you. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you it. But first, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and let's see how to do it. Before I start to show anything, I will explain a little bit how it's the setup of my TrueNAS. In the last video, I explained a little bit about permissions and groups. Therefore, I have some share folders or some data sets that has been created. But uh, let's say, this TrueNAS is revision 12. I have uh, five threads and 10 gigabytes of RAM. And I have uh, uh, one pool where I have uh, 72 gigabytes. In this pool, I have uh, some data sets. If I come here in pools, I have uh, a engineering folder, a financial folder, HR, and a share folder where everyone can access this one. Let's start to set up our snapshot. First, let's come in task and I will go through some information in the task. If we come here in rsync, it's the conventional way to do the backup. You can define that rsync will pull or push some information, depend of your choice, using another server. So you can have all your information in one server and you can push all the information on another server or you can pull all the information from one server to another. This won't work well, it's really great for backup, but these have limitation of your network and these have some limitation of speed. Imagine that you're gonna pull 10 terabytes of data. You're gonna pull all these terabytes, of course. If you already have some information there, they will only validate that information exactly the same. If it's exactly the same, they will not rewrite again. They only copy the documentation that would find. But you don't have a history of documentation that has been changed. As well, you're gonna take a long time to, to push back all the information from the other server to this one in the case of all the data corruption or all the data encrypted. So this one, it's an option, but it's not the fast one. What I prefer to do is periodic snapshot task. How it's work? If I come here, add, I can define one data set that I want. Let's say that I want a snapshot for the share folders. Here I can define if I want to exclude some data. Suppose that inside the share folder, I have a folder called, I don't know, time. That's never change and it's pointless to make a snapshot for it. In our case, I want that all the data will be made a snapshot. And I want to keep this snapshot for two weeks, that's fine. And how often I want to do this snapshot? And I want to do every hour a snapshot. So every hour I will have a history of data. This one will consume a little bit more of your capacity, but interesting the case of loose data. So I come here and put submit. I have my snapshot set for do each hour one new snapshot. Let's first open our Samba. In our share folder, I have some folders called photos where I copy some photos. If I come here and I uh, create my first snapshot manually, I come here in storage and come in snapshot, I can create a, a manual snapshot. I come here and create a new snapshot, data set I want to be a uh, share, and I create my first snapshot. So I come here in my folder and copy this folder photos. And now I have uh, two folders photos. If I come here and do another snapshot for my share folders and I want to be a... Uh, and I have my two snapshot. It means that I have my first snapshot and my second snapshot. If I look my first snapshot, I get the reference for 800 and my second one it's 1.56 gigabytes. So what I can do, if I come here and I properties and uh, I get as a previous versions, 
I have the two snapshots for this one. If I open here, look like the first one that I took, they will have only the first file. If I come here in the second one and open, I have all my files here. I can open this snapshot and recover this snapshot because if I come here in security, I come everyone and they have a full control. If I don't want a full control for everyone, if I don't want a full control for everyone, I can come there in permissions and modify. Only for modify or only read and execute or only read or a special permission. But in this case, I have a full control. This reason that in this case, everyone can come here and restore a snapshot. But let's say that I want to delete this copy. And I say, oh my gosh, this data just be deleted. How can I recover? I have two options. If the user have a full control, I can come here properties, provision, and I come here in this last one that I have and open it. So I have the copy. I can come here and copy again. And now all my data, it's restore. But suppose that I delete everything. And I want to store exactly the same one that I know that it's here, my data. I come here back in properties and put restore. You want to restore everything? Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to restore everything. So all my data will be restored here and I can access it. But supposedly that I, I don't have permission for it and I want to understand better for it. So I come here in my true NAS and I have my two snapshots. I have some options that I can do. I can come here and I can clone this data set for a new data set. What this means? I will create a sh second share folder with all this data so I can check what information that I have and only allow some users to have access for it. So I can create a temporary folder and I say, okay, Alan, I want you to check what data that you lose and compare it for what we have. If something's important that you need to access, I only want you to access it. So I can create a new clone for it. What's the name of the clone? I can define as a share two. If I define as a share two, I need to share this one only for some users. I can come here, pull, pull, share two, and I can define some permissions or not. I can come here and submit. And here in this share two will be exactly the same permissions. But if I want, I can edit ACL and can define that not everyone will have. Will have only few people or not everyone. And I come here and I can edit file system ACL and I can say that only root will have access or I want to come for open, restrict. So let's see how it's work. If I come here in my share folder and come here, I have my share folder too. This share folder too, I have my data that previous was deleted, was not recovered. All the option that you can do as well, if I come here in my snapshot, and I select this snapshot, I can put as rollback. What it means, I can roll back my data. I can come no safety checks, confirm and roll back. It means that all the snapshots that I create after this one will be deleted because I will restore in that exactly stage. So all everything it's, that has been done after is no longer exist. But otherwise I can create a new clone for it and that will be a new folder. If I create only new intermediate child file or cloud, will be only some files. But if I want to do everything, they will recover all the data, but it will be delete all the other snapshot that I have. This one it's good because for the speed, you saw how fast is it? If I want to recover a backup for another place, and if I have one terabyte, two terabytes, this one will take much longer to do. Other thing that's really important before you start to set up a snapshot or start to work with a ZFF, you need to come here in, you need to come here in task and come here as a scrambly task and you need to define a scrambly task. What this one means? They will check the integrity of your data. Every week they will check the integrity of my data and if the data is okay, they will not highlight for me. But if it's not okay, it's important for you to recover it or check your snapshot to check which point your data is corrupt. Why it's important? Suppose that my server lose the energy and data shut down and restart. Sometimes they are to the middle of the process of copy and uh, this copy was not completed. So you can lose this. 
As I told, this video is really fast, only to go through the snapshot and how important to do it. Now that you know, it's more one reason that you can apply for your necessities. You always have able to keep a history of your day. Perhaps in some point in time, someone by mistake deletes some folder. So you can try to recover this date. You can use a snapshot that will have a picture for that data in that specific time that you did the snapshot. This is not a perfect system. If perhaps your hard drive fail, you lose your data, not make any difference. But in the case of deletion or encryption, this one will be one of the best option and the best option for your case. If you like this video and think that was interesting, leave your like. If you don't like and think that's just pointless, leave your dislike. Subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.